Yeah, who mad about what I said about uh, that girl in Chan? Yeah, let me check her quick, because I talked about it before she died. You are now locked in to CEO TV. It's for the people. You heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know why you're here, and it's not because of me. You seen that title, so you had to tap in. So go and smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you tap that bell. Yeah, who mad about what I said about uh, that girl in Chan? Yeah, let me check her quick, because I talked about it before she died. Yeah, yeah, I talked about it before she died. Uh, see, this one thing I know, this one thing I know about the industry, from being in the industry, you can't be a sexual artist and step into this demonic world and they don't go to sucking and fucking and playing on your little pussy. And that's just what happened to that little girl. See, everybody that signed with Gucci didn't get no money. Pooh Shiesty was the only one he really put money behind. The rest of them had to go back and be in regular life. So what I did when she signed with 10, 10 to 10, 17, and he did the promotional run, I started paying attention to her career. So I'm saying, I would say to myself, nigga, how can I be passing her and she's with Gucci? So I would notice that her, her social media platform wasn't growing. I noticed when she first signed with them, she wasn't performing many places. Uh, she was always taking sexual videos. So all her videos was either in a, in a hotel looking room or, or a closed empty room. And she was always doing sexual stuff on the bed. It wasn't really, it wasn't, she wasn't really making no music. So when Gucci got all them young people together, and her and the other little nigga, uh, uh, Big Scar, the other nigga died of the overdose. They were boyfriend and girlfriend. The Bobby and Whitney getting high, dope fiend fucking. So nigga, everybody know in today's time, if you take a pill, if you taking a pill, chances are this pill is a man-made pill and it's a fentanyl pill. So if a motherfucker overdose on pills, who's sad? Nigga, who's sad? Nigga, if a nigga playing gangster get killed playing gangster. I don't give a fuck about no dope thing. I damn sure don't give a fuck about a dope fiend bitch. I damn sure don't give a fuck about a dope fiend rapper. My mama wasn't no dope fiend, so I don't really have compassion for dope fiend. I got more compassion for struggling single mothers. And my mama wasn't no struggling single mother, so I don't give a fuck about a poor bitch. But what I'm saying, nigga, so I watched that little girl. So I noticed she, her, her social media following wasn't growing. I noticed she didn't make rap videos. Uh, I noticed all she was was a fuck toy for, for, the, for the 10, 17 boys. Her manager used to fuck on them, and that's all they were known for. Fucking and sucking tongue, she was known for sucking pussy, taking dick. She was a fuck toy. So when you get into this industry, Jaguar Wright done told you, Cassie done told you, Orlando Brown, crazy, they done told you, they're gonna abuse you. So if you think Gucci and that woman wasn't fucking on that little girl, Big Scar was fuck, all the niggas were fucking on that little girl. Because she was too sexual. And she made it be known she was openly sexual. So they put her up and fucked on her. She and she like to get high. All these rapping hoes like to get high. All these young bitches that's in the party world like to get high, get their pussy sucked on, take some dicks. They freaks. So part of freaking is taking these motherfucking freak drugs. So don't be sad when a motherfucker to live this life because you get to choose how you live. Motherfucker come up dead, partying, having fun. Boy, that nigga lived a hell of a life. That nigga died doing what he wanted to do. Getting high on dope. Fuck, I'm gonna be sad for. Fuck, I'm gonna feel bad for the whoever. Man, that motherfucker died. But what I noticed what she was doing, she was selling a false lifestyle. She wasn't making no money. Gucci ain't, ain't making no goddamn money. She never came back home and put nobody on. She brought Gucci to stop six. That was her biggest accomplishment. And that ain't shit. Nigga, man, little girl ain't came and showed, nigga, I been showing y'all about mama car, about your kids, nigga, showing y'all what when you really make it. She couldn't do it because she really didn't make it. They put her in a room, they put her in a hotel, and they fucked on her, and they got her high, because now she dead. Fucking nigga, I'm here, I'm gonna tell the motherfucker truth, and I don't feel sorry about no motherfucker who entered into this industry. 
I don't feel sorry for now, motherfucker, who like to get high and they die getting high. Nigga, if I come up dead doing the thing I like to do, you bet that I better not be sad now, motherfucking time. Nigga, if I come up dead doing the thing that I like, man, they, man, they, nigga got killed at the club. Hey, nigga shouldn't have been going to the club. Man, they got, he got shut up fucking with a bitch. Nigga, if that happened to me, don't nobody be mad at the bitch. Don't none of that, nigga. Cause I, I done, bitch, I done died doing what I want to do. So no, motherfucker can't trick me. Oh man, you shouldn't be listen. First and foremost, I don't give a fuck about the dead at all. And I just want to say this. When I die, if y'all still, still here, y'all got permission to say whatever you want to say about me. You know why? I can't hear it. I won't be here. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah. So, nigga, I don't give a fuck who mad about what I'm saying. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. And let me just say this, y'all. Before she died, I noticed y'all wasn't sharing her music. Nigga, you can look all up and down social media. That same love she getting that she don't know she getting, she didn't get the love while she was here. So fuck y'all. I don't want to hear shit from you motherfucker with that fake ass giving a motherfucker flower without the they die. She, she was signed with 1017. I didn't see y'all promoting her. I didn't see y'all sharing her music because she wasn't making no music. That little motherfucker was laying on her back taking motherfucking dick and getting high. She became a fuck toy. Like most of y'all is fuck toys, fuck buddies, fuck boys, fuck girls. Everybody popping pills. And you know if you popping you a pill, guess what, nigga? You got you some fentanyl. So don't get mad if you get your fentanyl pill and it kill you. You know all the pills is a chance they might kill you. You know at least out of, out of some of these bastards. So if when motherfucker die getting high, don't be don't be sad. I remember mama telling me, son is not right and it's not fair for me to be at home worrying about you. And you out in the street, you ain't calling, you ain't, and you doing exactly what you want to do. So I don't worry about you no more. Oh, mama told me. You out in the street doing exactly what you want to do, having fun. You ain't thinking about nobody. So, nigga, you die, fuck it. You doing what you want to do. But this is what y'all need to know. She sold sex to the industry. And if you think the industry ain't finna take a little old young girl like her, who pussy hot, asshole hot. She like to suck, she like little girls to suck her pussy. She like little boys to eat her pussy. She like to, to she made this be known. And she did this before she got famous. So y'all don't think they didn't sex traffic that little motherfucker? Y'all don't think, nigga, she didn't have to fuck, nigga? Her boyfriend overdosed getting high and they were together fucking. So you think they ain't dope fiend fucking like Cash and them and did it? You think they ain't dope fiend fucking nigga? This what happened to dope fiend nigga? Dope and they young, young, pretty dope fiend. They just ain't smoking crack, they popping pills, but they dope fiends. They young dope fiends and they on this dope every day. And this dope here is just like the dope before when they used to hit that motherfucking dope and go to fucking and freaking. These mother, this dope here got them fucking and freaking and fighting and tilling and fucking and coming back, all that kind of shit. So don't, don't know. She sold an image. She sold an image in a persona. And if you think nigga Gucci and them, because I watched her and I studied her. I used to watch and I spoke on her two years ago. And I told y'all she ain't nothing but a fuck toy. They put dope on her, keep that little pussy hot and wet. They sneaking x pills in their booty. Cocaine on they on they, on they clitoris, putting cocaine on the tip of their clitoris, and they got it on his fingers and his fingernail, getting that pussy a little looser. So they getting these little holes on, they getting them addicted to feeling good. Motherfucker playing like not. So go go back and look at her social media page. She was selling it, and if you, you sell it, get what? They go buy it. 